Oh, hello. Welcome to the art gallery. Have you been here before? Oh, well, welcome. I'm so excited to show you around. Would you like some information about the artwork? Great, follow me. This first piece is called Waterfall. Each piece is labeled with a title and the year it was created. Sometimes in art galleries, you will find the medium or what the artist used to create the picture. Paint, colored pencils, markers, that's the medium. You will usually find the title and the date. Other times you will find descriptions of what the artwork is or what it represents. This picture is done in an impressionist style. So an impressionist style is where you give suggestions of colors and textures of what it might be. If you look really closely, you can see the little water droplets and all the texture in the dirt around the waterfall. And let's see what we have here. Ah, this next one is titled Landscape. And I bet you can guess why. It's a landscape drawing, that's right. In the background, we see the sky, we see the sun, we see some mountains. In the middle ground, we have our house. And in the foreground, we have all this beautiful green grass. Oh, this is a cool one. This one is called Abstract Shapes. What kinds of colors do you think the artist used in this picture? I hope you said primary colors. That's right. So they've got yellow, red, and blue, as well as black and white. Black and white are neutral colors. They're not in the rainbow. I like how the artist used the black lines to make the edges of all the squares and rectangles really crisp. Speaking of squares, this one is pretty crazy. It's called Rainbow Square. It's one of the biggest pieces of artwork we have in the whole gallery. It takes up the whole wall. This one is a series of three pictures. They're all about the same size, so we place them in a triangle format on the wall. The top one is called Heart. This one down here is called Spiral. And then this one is called Cat. I like how the artist layered all the different colors to make the spirals. Very cool. Ah, this one is called Portrait. Now we don't know if this is a self-portrait or just a portrait of someone else. Maybe a family member or a friend. She looks pretty content. I really enjoy the yellow and gold border that makes a frame around this picture. Very pretty. This is our last picture in the gallery. It's called Storm. And I like this one because it has multiple different mediums. So the artist used crayons, colored pencils, markers, and oil pastels to create this picture. Thanks for coming to our gallery today. I had a lot of fun showing you around. I hope that I can come visit your gallery sometime.